Hi, everyone, and welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in global connectivity, real estate, and the networks within. Today, we're exploring dark fiber with Bruce Garrison of Bandwidth IG, a data center leader reimagining the future of digital infrastructure. Bruce, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you, uh, Allison and JSA. Thank you. Of course, Looking always a pleasure to, to have you. So we hear you speaking on a panel. What is driving rapid infrastructure growth to coastal locations? Can you give us a sneak peek and tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, I can. Uh, so it's yeah, it's a panel uh, later this, this afternoon uh, about uh, just infrastructure growth uh, to coastal locations, like the title says. Uh, and it's really about the decentralization of the internet and more uh, infrastructure and content outside of the major cities. It's happening inland as well. Um, but uh, this panel specifically covers uh, how is uh, new subsea cables, how is the search for power and land for uh, big AI facilities, uh, how is that driving it to locations closer to the coast uh, and away from the major cities? Um, and it's a trend we'll uh, have started to pick up and we'll continue to see for the next few years. Yeah, look forward to seeing the growth in those coastal areas and checking out that panel later today. And speaking of sneak peeks, you've got some exciting things coming soon for your dark fiber network in the San Francisco Bay Area. Can you tell us more about that? Yep, uh, I can. Uh, so, yep, uh, the Bay Area is one of our markets. Um, it is uh, one of our uh, bigger markets. We continue uh, to build. We have about 200 miles built now we'll get to around uh, 300, a little over 300 in the next 12 to 18 months. Uh, we're super excited. We're doing something in the Bay that has not been done in 20 to 30 years. Wow. Um, when it all is said and done, it could classify for a uh, world record type project um, from one specific part of it. Uh, it's, we're a little early, uh, but again, what, what we're doing is so special that uh, there was an infrastructure problem for fiber in the Bay. Uh, we're in the process of solving it. Uh, it's going to impact the market positively for the next 20 or 30 years. And uh, like I said, it is uh, something that hasn't been done in a long time. And we're super excited about it. Awesome. Well, you heard it here first. We have a record breaking coming soon. So keep an eye out for that. I'm sure you guys will achieve that. And while we're on the topic of growth, you have some exciting developments to your network in Atlanta and Hillsborough, Oregon, part of the greater or Portland area. What's the latest there? Yep. Um, so uh, our two, two of our other markets are uh, Hillsborough area in Portland uh, and then also Atlanta. Um, Hillsborough, smaller market, uh, just a smaller geographical uh, area, at least today. Uh, but we continue to uh, add more buildings to our network. Uh, we look to go further west uh, to markets where it is closer to the coast, uh, such as Forest Grove and others. So it kind of fits into that panel discussion. And then in Atlanta, uh, we just see a big boom in Georgia. Yeah. Uh, it's not probably accurate to just talk about our market as Atlanta because we're doing a lot outside of that. And it just really relates to the common themes of uh the decentralization, more infrastructure put outside the major cities, uh, and we're doing projects, uh, looking at and doing projects all over Georgia. Uh, and Georgia is one of the states that have been progressive with transmission line upgrades and all the things that are impacting data center growth. So uh, super excited about both markets. Uh, and then uh, potentially the next time we speak, maybe we'll have a fourth market to talk about. Oh, I look forward to hearing where that fourth market is. And finally, what's one thing you want people to remember about the importance of dark fiber? Allison, that's tough with one thing. Uh, <laughs> I'll try. I'll try to uh, keep it concise. Uh, dark fiber is uh, like the highway to the car. the The coolest car, the biggest engine, the best tires aren't going to do much productively without that highway to get between destinations. Uh, so it is. It's such an important part of infrastructure. Uh, since most of new fiber cable is underground, it's less visible. You don't, it's a little bit less tangible once it's uh, buried. But uh, it is such an important layer of the infrastructure for these data centers and cloud and AI and all these technologies. And we hear a lot about AI specifically and higher power consumption uh, and um, what that, that is 
touch and feel in a data center. What is super unique is that power consumption growth by AI is also changing consumption of dark fiber networks. And the dark fiber networks needed for the long-term uh, growth of AI platforms does not exist today. And uh, Bandwidth IG is solving that problem in, in three markets and potentially a fourth. Wow. Well, I feel like so much growth, we could keep going on and on. But for our viewers who want to learn more, where can they go to learn more about Bandwidth IG and keep up with that potential record-breaking? Yep. So um, easiest place is uh, bandwidthig.com. Uh, uh, find us on our social pages. Uh, industry events on our social page we have our industry event so for this conference and any future conference and then when this record breaking event uh comes uh to more of a place where we can uh let the public know about it uh there will be no shortage of <laughs> press uh and us letting the market know so um and look forward to it uh and yeah I, you mentioned a word of growth it's just we're in a growth phase and it's super exciting well, congratulations thank for all that growth. And thank you so much for joining us. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV live here at DataCloud USA 2023 in Austin, Texas. Until next time, happy networking.